Hey guys, Mr. Burns here again, uh, bringing you another similar triangles example. Um, here's a tricky, uh, tricky example where we have two triangles sort of uh, in the same diagram. So you can sort of see we got this large triangle here to the outside, and this sort of the smaller one here on the inside. Um, so the problem that sort of arises from this type of problem is that. Um, Students sometimes sometimes trouble visualizing the two triangles. So sometimes they'll see this, this sort of this quadrilateral here, I guess we can call it, and they sort of see that as a triangle for some reason. So one strategy here, um, you don't necessarily have to do this, but could help you if you sort of maybe break apart the triangle. So like I have the technological ability to do this, but you would have to do this by drawing it on your paper. So uh, maybe I'll keep everything the same there, and I'll just. Uh, clone some things. Oops, it's not what I wanted to clone. Um, so if I take my um, my little triangle here, I'm going to clone my little triangle. And then I'm going to clone my bigger triangle. And I have them separated here. So let me just move everything here together just a little bit over here. And then I'm going to have this situation here. Minimize this. This is our little triangle. This is our big triangle. So I've simply taken my two things and I've broken them apart. So I think that this this sort of maybe is a little bit of a fail-proof strategy. I don't think you can go wrong if you do this thing. Um, as long as you set up our ratios right. So let's now start filling in some values. So so from our diagram here, we got this to be 3.1 and this to be x. And then this is the part that pulls. Uh, pulls up some students. So look here that this is the whole length of the side. So this whole thing is the entire length of this side. So it's actually 5.3 plus 3.1. So we get 8.4. 8.4. And that side down here is 10.3. So uh, this is where Sometimes you have students taking this side of this big triangle to be 5.3, which can throw off their entire ratio. Now they're not going to have, uh, if you remember from our last little lecture there, ratios of corresponding sides have to be equal. So if you don't have that, then you're not going to get a correct answer. So once you have this little setup here, it can really help you write your ratio. So let's see. X. Well, what side does X correspond with? Well, X and 10.3 correspond, of course. X and 10.3, and that's equal to, well, we have 3.1. We go back, we start with X in this triangle, so we get the next one to be 3.1. 3.1 over, and then the corresponding side, 8.4 here. 8.4. So now we're back to solving this equation here of. Uh, solving it for x, solving our ratios here, of our equation. So, I'll break up my calculator. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to try and calculate this answer right here. So, um, we go 3.1 divided by 8.4, and that equals another gnarly decimal. Um, so, we go 0. Decimal three six nine. That is a three, believe it or not. Let's make that more three like. There we go. And x over n point three. So again, we're working down the page, DTP. As per usual, that doesn't stop no matter what we're doing, just like when we're solving equations, doing rational numbers, things like that. And I'm gonna have to fix that too. That's not making me very Three, six, and now we're going to do the cross multiplication here. So to say, we're going to multiply these two things together, right? So we got x is equal to ten point three times zero point three six nine. Approach of writing, and um. We'll do that on our calculator, so 10.3 times 
zero decimal three six nine and that equals three point eight we'll say so that equals three point eight and I don't have any units in the problem so we'll just write units and we're done so the length of this side right here in our triangle is 3.8 units so that seems reasonable because the side's 3.1 they're roughly the same length there so um, this x is 3.8 units I hope this example helped you this is a this is a good example that you might see on a test unit test CRT uh, assignments so be prepared um, try it again try it with them we make up some new different numbers see if you can't get an answer to work out for you. Alright guys, thank you again.